What I love about Chefalou, Sicily. I'm on my balcony. There's the church in the background and the big hunk of granite. Um, so every day that I'm here, it's going on two and a half weeks. <laughs> I feel more and more like I live here. It's just amazing. Number one, the people. Wow. I just discovered yesterday this great little, it's called a bar, but it has everything. Coffee, sandwiches, um, Prosecco, everything you'd possibly want. Um, a little tiny place. All the locals are there. There wasn't one tourist there, and everyone was so nice to me. Well, I want to go there every day. Um, so I walked over there today and talked to a guy from Amsterdam. That was fun, but he lives here now, loves it. You know, it's just so friendly. So it's number one people. Number two, gorgeous place. I love the beach. I haven't jumped in the water yet. Uh, I just posted a video, Chefalou Sicily, on my site, on YouTube channel. And you can see the beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Every sunset is magic. I'm telling you. Okay, so number three, the food. Wow, the oranges are exceptionally fresh. Of course, every piece of food you buy, and I'm not even talking about the restaurants, I'm talking about the food you buy in the grocery stores is so fresh and good. Also low cost, it's a half to a third less than what I would pay in California for comparable um, quality. And this is the street where I live, loving it. Um, you say, if you say bona sera, you know, sometimes people look at me like, who, you know, like you feel like they're not, who are you or something. <laughs> and then as soon as I say buongiorno or bona sera, which is good day or good evening, they say bona sera, like very nice back. So one, two, three, people, <laughs> one, two, three, people, food, uh, beauty. It's a gorgeous place. You can't go wrong. Uh, everywhere you walk. Donna, thank you for getting me up that granite chunk right there. I thought, oh my God, I don't want to suffer. You know, it's not that hard to walk up it. And beautiful views. Absolutely amazing. Um, I like my treetop, top floor apartment. So nobody walks on my head. Sometimes I hear street noise, but nobody's walking on my head. So I'm happy. So... I am so happy to be here in these red roofs and oh, important fact, my grandfather was born right up the road in 1901, right up there in the mountains in Isnello. And I, you know, I, I feel like there's a real deep connection. I can feel the love. Um, had a, uh, I've got, even though he passed away many, many years ago, I still feel his energy and it feels like home here. So wanted to tell you that because I encourage everybody to follow your ancestry. If you have a feeling to do it, go find out. <clears throat> he left here in 1901. He was just a baby. So he didn't really grow up here, um, but he was born here and that's significant. Yeah. Wow. Check it out if you want to discover your heritage. I have, and this is my third time back, and I'll be back many times more. So, if you have any questions about Chef Lou Sicily, um, I haven't had anything here that I didn't like to eat. I've been to a restaurant a couple of times, and thank you for that festive dinner, Donna. That was wonderful before she left. Uh, Donna came to learn photography and left a few days ago. I guess it's been about a week ago almost and um it's just a gorgeous place here so ciao bella and i'll see you uh please feel free to ask anything about sicily and happy to be staying here right now <laughs>